Well, it's Friday morning. Sun is starting to come up. The ibuprofen hasn't kicked in yet. I'm still a little sore from yesterday's beating. We'll see what today holds. Hey, it's Grumpy here. Friday, about a mile and a half away from the shelter in the trail. Well, it's this crap. Not only do I hurt from the beating I took yesterday, there's not enough ibuprofen to help me out this morning. It's getting a little rough. And water seems to be an issue. Um, here in the fall in Pennsylvania, it's always dry and you're up on the ridges. So trying to find a water source is really tough. Um, yesterday when I was filled with water, I found three nice ones and nothing until I got to the shelter area. Supposed to be a natural spring there. That was dried up. So I pumped the well that says not for human consumption filtered and boiled that and that's what I have to drink right now not a good situation let me make a correction on that um, the sign didn't say not for human consumption sorry about that it says not potable um, boil advisory and after I gathered it well pumped it up filtered it then I boiled it it got a milky look to it um I don't know what's in it it looks like maybe state park um maintenance department has been dumping all their used oil and antifreeze in the to the well system it, it's bad the taste is horrible I'm just hoping for a stream next to the Pennsylvania Turnpike. I'll get some Turnpike runoff. I'd drink that over this right now. Well, I found some good water. Um, nice stream here flowing. First one I seen today. The first thing I did was dump the crap from the shelter area. I started filling my bottles. Um, first taste of it. Um... It tastes like Tyler Mountain Water delivered water to my home. That's how well it's good it tastes compared to the stuff I had. So I'm not rushing it today. Um, my feet and ankles are killing me from yesterday. And basically this is, this is the stream, but that's what the trails look like. I'm hoping to get something a little better today. I set out to train for the Appalachian Trail to get some trail legs, and I've been training for the Whites, I guess, or Pennsylvania, right? So, I have five miles to go. I'm in no rush. If I make it there by five so I can get a fire going, I'll be happy with that. Well, made it to the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Last time I did this trail from end to end, the bridge crossing here was a little rickety. Not as um, nice as it is now. Hey, it's Grumpy back. Um, I just spoke with Gigi. I'm gonna. I think I'm going to relocate my hike. Um, yesterday really beat me up. My legs feel good. It's my ankles and feet. And except for this right now, the trail's been pretty much the same. So I think at the resupply point where she was going to resupply me, she's going to just take me home. And in a week... I would say about a week, depending on what her schedule is. I was thinking about going to section hike the Shenandoah. It has its hills. The hills aren't what's bothering me. It's this constant rock hopping that's hurting me. Um, 
I'm not quitting. I'm just relocating. And another thing, a good thing to think about is, um, I think Big Bird brought it up in one of the videos he was doing trail legs. He's doing the question and answer, and he's doing trail legs. He said, don't overlook those little bumps on your map. Well, I did that. This is the last mile I have today. And just over a mile, I'll be climbing 1,500 feet, and we don't get switchbacks here on the Laurel Highland Hikings Trail. And that doesn't seem like much, but I'm in the shape of round, not in shape for hiking. So it's a combination of the rocks beating me up so bad yesterday. I just need to get on some flat, well, not flat ground, just good trail to do my training. Um... But I'll see if I make it to the top. I'll start this video again. All the way up. Now I made it up the hill. Not as bad as I thought. I would equate it to for you pass through hikers or anyone who's done Shenandoah. High top. So it wasn't that bad. I, I was worried about nothing. But um, yeah, it's funny walking this trail that I've done 34 years ago. I did this trail from end to end for the first time. It seems to be easy. Again, I was cold out here with my girlfriend, you know. Oh, her parents hated me, too. They hated me something fierce. I thought I was a decent guy, but reflecting on the past, walking this trail the last couple of days, if I would show up at the door to ask one of my daughters out, I'd hate me, too. So... Funny how ch time changes people and things. But, um, and you see, here we go again. A downhill, which I don't like anyway. I'd do, I'd trade that up for down any day. What makes it the bad thing is that's all it is. These softball sized rocks all the way down. That's what I'm having problems with. I'm obviously videoing also. And look at this picture right here. How slow I'm walking. Now you go back to one of the earlier episodes of ER. It looks like he's driving in the car while he's videoing. But I'm making it. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Hello everyone, it's Gucci Girl. It is Friday, and I have with me here this handsome man. If you're wondering why it's Friday, and I have him here, I'll let him explain. So, in your own words, Mr. Grumpy Pants, tell us why I'm here on Friday. Because I bit off more than I could chew. What do you mean by that? Well, six months ago, this would have been no problem, but six months of training for the half gallon challenge, <laughs> has definitely paid a price on me. Um, I'm not, I'm, nothing's injured. I just physically cannot go another mile. So, see, this is just one battle in the whole war. If the United States would have gave up after Kazarine passed, Lord knows what would have happened in World War II, but they kept going, right? Because we have something further, something bigger to look at. And that's the Appalachian Trail. And if I do this right, I'll be standing on top of Katahdin as the victor. Wow, you scared me there for oh, a second. Oh, sure I did. Oh, he's a history buff, by the way, if you haven't already noticed. <laughs> so this is not a failure, obviously. No, it's a setback. I call it a redirection. I'm going to redirect from this trail actually to the Appalachian Trail. Maybe a section of Shenandoah, since we have connections, we I have a resupply. Yes, you do. Maybe from Front Royal to Harper's Ferry. Yes. I can do the miles. I can't do the rocks like that. So I have to find a nice area to actually stretch out my legs, get a stride going. Because on the first part of this trail, when I did get a stride going, considering I haven't hiked in six months and been eating a lot of ice cream, I was over two miles an hour. I'll, I can take that. That's respectable. Okay. Okay. So I guess that's uh, a wrap for now.
until the next time. I definitely say Shenandoah is a good call. So I guess that's the next video, the next chapter in the ongoing saga. Grumpy out. <laughs>